Hello again. For part two, we will begin with an example of an infield manipulative experiment that follows on from the theme of river plumes and nutrients. The Encore experiment was conducted at One Tree Island, which is a southern offshore reef in the Great Barrier Reef. One Tree Island reef is a ponding reef such that the water within the reef is isolated from the surrounding ocean at every low tide. Within One Tree Reef are multiple micro atolls, replicates of the larger reef, that are likewise isolated from surrounding water at low tide. Because of this feature, it is possible to use robots, like the one shown, to dose the reef with nutrients every low tide and hence monitor the effect of these additional nutrients on the communities found within the atoll over time. With the permission of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, of course. ONCOR stands for Elevated Nutrients on a Coral Reef Experiment. The question was how does inorganic nitrogen, ammonia and or phosphorus affect the coral reef communities and processes. In this experiment, 12 replicate microatolls were selected. Three were control with no nitrogen and phosphorus added. Three were nitrogen only added. Three were phosphorus only added. And three had both nitrogen and phosphorus added. If we were to tabulate the results like we did before for the nested design, it becomes apparent that there are two factors involved in this experiment, nitrogen and phosphorus, each with two levels, either ambient or elevated. What you will notice in this data is that results are obtained for every possible combination of these factors. This experimental design is said to be orthogonal. Sometimes it is important to determine the existence of interactions. In the following graph, phosphorus levels are given on the horizontal x-axis, the response on the vertical y-axis, and nitrogen levels are reflected in the color of the points, red for elevated and blue for ambient. Here, the positive effect on the response associated with elevating nitrogen is independent of the positive effect associated with elevating phosphorus. The effects of the factor nitrogen and the factor phosphorus are in this case additive and there is no interaction amongst the factors. Note that the lines are parallel. This is not the case in the second example. Enriching phosphorus at the same time as enriching nitrogen gives the same response as no enrichment of either. But the addition of either, but not both, nutrients has a positive effect. The factors are interactive. Note that the lines are not parallel. In the third case, Elevating nitrogen in the presence of elevated phosphorus approximately doubles the effect on the response associated with elevating nitrogen on its own. The factors are once again interactive. Again, note that the lines are not parallel. These considerations bring part two of this lecture to an end. We have learnt what a simple one factorial experimental design looks like. But we have also learnt that a two factorial design can be either nested or orthogonal. Often the factors are not additive but can interact with each other. This latter feature emphasises the need to ensure that all background conditions are kept uniform across experimental subjects. As a variable factor, not under study, may have a significant interactive effect on the outcomes associated with the factor under study.